you boys. I'm gonna miss you. How many kilos are you gonna be dead for? Hey, mm. yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. <laughs> Let's go. There we go. Alright, ready to rock. <laughs> Enjoy, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is it guys. Leaving see it babe. Nice and slowly, very shallow here. We've gone multiple times in and out here, no problem. Cruising into the night, into the sun. Introduction when the guests are done. Whew. What a feeling. Three years in the making and it's now happening. Like that. <laughs> If you built a boat before, guys, you know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, this is gonna be amazing, guys. Let's see where the wind takes us. Or the diesel. <laughs> Off we go, Chris! It's amazing! Yay! Let's rock the show! Bye, Gypsy! Ready to cruise! <laughs> Can, uh, get back to the safety trail uh, uh, quickly done. So you know how it works and you know where your uh, device is. So they finished the briefing, safety drill, introduction, all done. All good. All good boss. Uh, very nice. And now we have an overnight cruise to Campo Manis Bay. We're gonna enjoy the night. Beautiful sunset, wind is in the back. Nice, almost clear skies. No thunder or nothing tonight. This is this is as good as it gets. How's your sleep, Randall? Uh, like a rock. Yeah? <laughs> Good morning from Campo Manes Bay. Absolutely complete protection here. Flat sea, we just anchored as you saw. And uh, sunrise coming up soon. We had a very smooth cruise up the uh, coastal line of Negros from Oriental to Occidental. And as you've seen, maybe my previous video you know this is something we've been exploring for a couple of years this route and uh, yeah we enjoyed it so much that we decided to put it on our schedule all right so the plan today is um, light breakfast now then we go around the corner on the speedboat and we do a dive come back big breakfast second breakfast and then in the night we actually plan to go to Caca and Silio. so weather forecast looks good that's the middle of Sulu Sea, pretty close to Tupata. So we'll be the only boat in the country that goes to this area uh, in off season. So very excited for that. We with the lawn here, we go out, we exit the time so that you don't have to exit also in 30 minutes. Of time.
Okay, awesome day coming to an end. We made it to Campomanes and uh, we had a lot of diving, amazing food. The guests are super happy. And now we just undocked from the pier and we're heading out to open sea in Sulu Sea to Cagayan Celio. I uh, just pray for good weather and safe journey. And uh, I know we're in good hands. Our crew is amazing. I'm super happy and proud of them. They are top, top, top guys. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a long night, but let's go. December. Uh, we will not be doing that le next year, but uh, we just wanted to try it. here in Kakaian Silio. I've never seen anything like this. Not even Tubata in terms of the Gargonian fans. Uh, I never like to compare things, but since this is such a close place to Tubata, I think it's okay to do it. Because what you see here is pretty much the same thing as in Tubata. There's a few major differences. There's a lot more sharks in Tubata. We saw a few of them now, but really far away. In Tubata, they're very close to you. There's so many of them. Here, fish laugh spectacular. And the walls are just absolutely monstrous. And now we have actually the uh, Coast Guard with us. Uh, they're gonna help us bring the boat into Cagayan Silio in a protected place. So uh, we're cruising along this massive reef here around the corner. And uh, hopefully later I can fly the drone when it's calm and nice. Conditions, perfect. The wind has died down. What a nice time to uh, get into a safe spot for tonight. And uh, we got some information with the tourism guys when they were on the boat earlier. There's actually 7,000 people that live on the island. I'm so surprised by that. Uh, so yeah, maybe tomorrow or tonight, let's see. We'll definitely go and land and explore what this community is all about. It's just mind-blowing that there are 7,000 people here in middle of Sulu Sea. Like, I, I can't understand it in the Sulu area because there's so many islands close to each other. But here, it's we are so far in the northern Sulu and there's nothing around. <laughs> nothing. Amazing. Amazing. Oh yeah, and it's an ancestral community. Their own language. Complete own language. Cagayano. There's so much fish left, but that's definitely tuna hunting them. That was cool. Okay, we're just getting uh, close to the place where we can go into the shallow area. 
no better feeling than this guys having the wind in you the ocean and these special cloud formations when you're out in the open sea uh, nearby islands you get these beautiful shapes tonight will be an epic epic sunset We're only about 4.5 to 7 meter depths here. Now we're gonna anchor. It's good enough. Doesn't get much better than that. We are coming to an end of an awesome day, our very first time in Kaga and Silio, and it exceeded all of our expectations from the diving, from the environment, nature, the island, even the local people from Kagan came out to the boat and we were extremely friendly and even helped us out coming into the reef. This is actually one of the most risky things to do is coming into reefs. So they came on the boat and helped us out. The guests have had the awesome time so far, their first time as well in Cagayan. They're going out for a night dive, while me and Chris are gonna enjoy this priceless moment. We were just saying to each other, after our such a hard work in the last three years, able to sit down and witness this is priceless. And this is my bed. This is where I always sleep outside under the stars with the wind and the ocean breeze it's the best but look at this guys in the background the aqua blues the gatorade blues the limestone cliffs of palawan we're actually in palawan <laughs> absolutely beautiful Hopefully, later today we can uh, go into the sandbar if it's not too crazy wind. Let's see. So far, so good.
most beautiful wall here. Yeah. It's the best wall I know. It's very good. Gorgonia heaven. I remember I remember when I was here, it's amazing. We just came up from the dive and the uh, seabird is back here. By the way, he has a tag on his leg. It's probably from Tupata. the tag on it before you know it's possible he yeah. could have maybe chew it off or something yeah. so he actually has a tag on him or what is remaining of it a rubber band so we can't see any number or identification on him but thank you see it there but it's really not afraid it's amazing amazing how calm he is yeah it's wild but yeah First, he landed next to us when we were diving. Yeah, yeah. He flew because around he, us. I saw him here also in front of the boat. <laughs> I, I saw him coming here. And then he know. sat down next to yeah. us in the water. Oops, sorry, sorry. Okay, I'll back up. Sorry. <laughs> We left Cagancillo last night and uh, unfortunately we couldn't go on the island on this trip so um, we'll go there next time because uh, there was too much wind and uh, conditions were not good enough to just go on land and the whole group is divers so they you know want to dive 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 but maybe next time uh, when we visit we'll go many trips there we can explore the island communities but just spectacular marine life the uh, corals wildlife top 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 one of the best i've seen here in philippines good sleep very good. very good look at that beautiful we just arrived in the island of agilac aligai aligai that's the name <laughs> which is pretty close to tipolok in mindanao so we're about three, four hours away from uh, Negros. We had about 14 hour overnight cruise from Cagancillo. Very windy, about one and a half, two meter waves once we get into this channel. But we're gonna be uh, maybe anchored on the one side in a protected area. The guys are going to the dinghy to check if we're allowed to anchor. But if not, we just drift, no problem. Gorgeous island, white sand beach. But once again, this is a dive group. So let's jump in the water. Maybe we'll go on land. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome to Alikwai Island. Island number 200 something. Whoa. Sand test. 8.5. Very nice. All right, guys, this is it. Coming to an end, the trip. The diving is done. Exploration is finished. But uh, only me and Chris wanted to go on land. The guys uh, love diving so much, they just want to dive their dive. But uh, I wanted to go on the land, check this place out before we end of the trip. What is this place? Oh, it's, it's like a, a shell, huh? giant clam. It's a giant clam. Look at that. Cool. <laughs> and a huge swimming pool over there. Empty, unfortunately. Maybe this place is abandoned. You can tell the owner of this place is a nature lover because not only he created a restaurant with a giant clam, coral pillars in between to support the structure and the wall is a beautiful coral reef with a lot of fish just like we saw out here <laughs> awesome <laughs> <laughs> aliguay <Aliguay. laughs> i love aliguay and if you're curious where we are right now we are basically in between necros island and mintanao you see Mindanao over there, two and a half hours, and then there's about three hours to Negros, so we're almost right in between. There's another island there called Senilok, but uh, we'll go maybe visit that on the next trip, we'll see. But this is life, guys. Nature, exploring, that's life. It's wonderful to us, and um, obviously we're well trained at your jobs, the food was delicious um, and varied. We enjoyed all of the different um, types of uh, cuisines that you uh, created for us and, 